Hey y'all, I am back and I thought I would do a quick little video about the bag I am um, carrying this week. Um, if you are new to watching a video of mine, um, I'm just a bag lover who enjoys making um, quick little videos about bags that I love. It helps me feel a little less alone during this time of semi-isolation um, to just connect with fellow bag lovers um, through technology. So that is what I'm doing here. And my bag of the week is the McGraw um, camera bag by Tori Birch. It's in the tiramisu color and it is a pebbled leather. I love this bag. I don't have, a, you know, I have a few Tory Burch bags, um, not as many as, <laughs> as uh, the Louis Vuitton bags I have or the Coach bags I have. But this year I did um, get a few more Tory Bur Burches and I am enjoying them. This is one of my favorite go-to bags on a regular kind of day where I'm just running errands or I'm running to the doctor, dentist, whatever. I just think it's perfect. It's the perfect size. And um, what I love about it is in the back of the bag, there is this generous pocket where I can slip. Um, oops, I didn't realize that was in there. Where I can slip larger pieces of paper. Um, and I don't have that feature in a whole lot of my bags. Um, a lot of times there's a smaller pocket. So anyway, I just like this larger, more generous pocket back here. Another thing I really like about the, I guess the style or visibility of the bag is the oversized Tory Burch emblem that's on both the, the purse and the wallet. That is just cute. And you know, what I really like is that it's kind of, even though it's oversized and it is um, raised, I guess, it's the same color of the bag, which is nice. So it's not over, it's not over branded. Um, sometimes I'm in a brand kind of mood and, you know, I go with the Louis Vuitton monogram, which is kind of in your face, but this is a little more subtle. It lets the person who's looking at it know, you know, it is <laughs> Tory Burch. I guess you can't miss that. But at the same time, it's not so in your face. So I really think that's very tasteful very stylish, and that's one thing I enjoy. It also has a fun little tassel. Initially, I, this is a pro and a con. Um, it is very cute and it adds something to the bag, but in my opinion, it's longer than it should be. I feel like the, um, the lead part of it or whatever you would call this part should just be a little shorter so that the tassels are not hanging so low. Um, they can just kind of be in the way. And when I'm storing the bag, they get kind of bent up. I don't know, they're just, they, they're a little more fussed than they probably should be, um, but they are cute and they do add style to this piece. The other thing that kind of did not make sense to me is why this top zipper pull um, sorry about that, has to be so long. You can see that it's almost half the length, of, well, it's more than half the length, length of the top of the bag. So I don't really know why it was designed that way. Um, it's kind of just unnecessary if you ask me. It could have been much shorter, um, but it, it just, it kind of is just in the way. And as you can see, it's kind of bent in an awkward way because when I'm carrying it, I have to kind of flip it over and let it sit like that so that it's not kind of awkwardly in the way. So now it has almost like a permanent bent, the shape of um, the top of the purse. So not a big problem, but just an unnecessary feature. Um, it could have just as easily been a short little zipper pull. So not sure the thought process behind that. Getting into the interior of this bag, it does have a soft cloth lining and a side slip pocket that is pretty big. Um, you know, your phone, I'm using my phone right now, but my phone does fit in there. Although I tend not to stick my phone in here because there's just not a lot of space. I mean, and that's how hand, or I'm sorry, that's how camera bags tend to be. Once I put my wallet in here, 
it pretty much takes up all the room. Um, and I do have to kind of get in here and situate my items so that they kind of sit in um, the best way possible without bulging or causing any bulkiness in the bag. So here is the interior. You get a better look at that. It's a beautiful color. You've got that Tory Burch logo there. And I pretty much only carry <laughs> the three things that I have here. The wallet, um, a Louis Vuitton uh, key pouch, and the coin pouch. And that's pretty much all that I have in my bag other than some odds and ends like some paper. I do stuff my mask in the back back here. I just don't have it with me right now. Um, and one other feature I forgot to mention is it does have an adjustable shoulder strap um, which you can wear on your shoulder or crossbody and I always almost always wear my crossbody bags as a crossbody. What I like about this bag is that it really is, the color is neutral, so it pretty much goes with anything. And I think it can be, you know, dressed down or dressed up. I think you could wear this in the evening on your shoulder or during the day running errands, crossbody. So it's very versatile. Um, I like the matching wallet. I don't typically like to be too matchy-matchy, but in certain um, pieces, I do like to have the matching wallet to go with it. The only thing about this wallet Sorry, I had to turn my cards around and get um, my Louis Vuitton wallet to show a comparison. So the only thing about this wallet, it's a it's a great mid-size wallet. It has a really generous um, coin compartment with another long zip pool, longer than it needs to be, if you ask me. Um, but again, not a deal breaker. Very generous coin pouch, which is nice. Um, if you're someone who likes to carry coin, and I do. Um, sorry, I'm a little awkward here. It's got uh, six card slots, so that's, you know, generous as well. You've got that Tory Burch label there. Um, here's the part that is a little bit of a... Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to get my situation situated. Okay. Okay. Here is the only downside to this wallet. The cash slot is very tight. It's very restrictive. And I don't know, the best way to show you is to kind of give you a comparison. I have the Louis Vuitton Victorine here. You can see how generous the cash slot is. It's really big and oversized. Makes it really easy to get cash in and out of there and leave some extra room. So, Hopefully you can see that there. But with the McGraw wallet, it is really tight. And you really kind of have to stuff your bills in there. I mean, it is just, it's, it's not very big. And so for someone who carries cash, and I do, um, that is a little bit, oh my gosh, I cannot get this thing to stay open. That is a little bit of a nuisance. I do wish that the size was a little bit bigger, especially since um, they do give you such a generous coin slot here. I, you know, just a few more inches on this wallet, even though it is pretty much comparable to, um, you know, the Victorine. I think this canvas is just has a little more give than this pebbled leather. Yeah, and you know, the Victorine is just a little bit um, wider, I guess, or longer, I should say. It's a little longer. So, not a deal breaker, but something to just be aware of. Um, I still really enjoy using this wallet. I like it a lot. Again, I like the, the combination of this purse and this wallet. Just a great neutral color, a great everyday bag, very stylish. And I'm really glad that I have it as a part of my collection. I like it so much, I thought about getting it in one of the other colors. I was looking at the pink. I had to find it real quick because I knew it was probably not called pink. It's the Meadow Sweet. And I was looking at this one 
earlier in the year and then I guess I just kind of lost track of it and never did decide to get it but it's still on my radar um, very cute practical bag and I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you guys next time bye